Hello everyone, welcome to Don Bosco Youth Network Zambia. I'm your host, Alice Piri, and you're joining us on another exciting episode of Turned Up Show here in Don Bosco Youth Network Zambia. Now, I do understand that for some time now, we've been a little bit quiet on you guys, but don't worry, we are back on set with more content to inspire most of you young people out there. So joining us on set today, we have Kalika, who I am pleased to say is a songwriter and a music producer. I hope he's going to be an inspiration to all of you out there that want to venture in the music business or maybe in something different. So without having much to say, welcome to the set. Alright, say steady vibes, eh? Yeah. Come. So, um, before we get into the video, please tell us who Kalika is. Kalika is a well-organized person with a very big goal and ambition to prove everybody wrong. So for me, I stand on my ground with policies of doing my very best in everything I do. Because initially, everything has... Uh, people these days believe there is a limit to everything. But initially, I feel the limit is only there if you put it to your head. And how has it been so far for you? So when I realized that I had a very big passion for it in high school when I started doing a music class uh, where I learned to play the keyboard and the drums, I decided to actually do something about it with my two other friends, Lomi and Lucilla. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we worked towards that like an EP, which actually stated uh, put our names there as upcoming artists and okay. from there we built the brand up. And we are slowly progressing. We've made some very good songs so far over the year, um, over the months. Yeah. And yeah, I think so far we are doing some great work. Initially, my first Ava single came in February uh, of last year. That was when I was in my first year, and uh, uh, my producer JB gave me the chance to actually start off my music career and do the best I can and just show off my talent and he believed that I have a different voice. So how are you able to cope with the music, school and these other things that may involve your time? Because I do understand that it gets overwhelming sometimes and you have to be either mental, mentally stable to run through these things. Um, so for me, I feel the biggest hindrance that our, our generation has is poor planning. Mm. So I feel it's all about how you set your day to be and how you set your day to be. Like what exactly are you learning from every day? So for me, what I do is um, during the week, I specifically leave that time to my school and every other thing, including family, friends and all that. Yeah. But when it comes to the weekend, I try my best to put my music first and try to push my agendas here and there because at the end of the day I'm trying to be as diverse as I can okay. and know that there are alternative ways to make money because at the end of the day we are growing and we need to know how exactly we can finance ourselves without actually needing our parents to do that for us. Okay. I noticed you go by the name or the nickname Smiley Face Assassin. So where did that come from? Alright, so um, my friends like to say I smile a lot and I'm always happy. I have very few times when I'm angry. I, I'm a very happy person, so I decided to share that happiness with everybody else who's around me. Just be show some love, because at the end of the day, everyone needs to be loved. Everyone has to be shown some love, because even God showed us love and came down and died for us. But we have forgotten that, and I just try to embrace that by smiling out to, to every, every, giving every single person a smile. So that's why I go by smiling first assassin, because I just try to tell people that I go through a lot as well, I fight as well. I have my own struggles, my own uh, mental problems and everything, but I still do it with a smile because at the end of the day, God loves me, he's made me live today, he's shown me his grace in this year. I'm just keeping on pushing, doing what I have to do and getting to the goal and destination that I have to reach. Alright, so um, who is your biggest idol? 
honestly, um, I can say my parents, because initially, um, people say, now I'm, motiv- I'm motivated by the video, motivated. Those guys are good, and I get motivated to do what they're doing as well, but my biggest motivations are my parents, because I've seen how hard they fought to get to where they're at. And I also want to do the same because I know that nothing comes easy and I can do it but only with perseverance. So the artists out there, like, they motivate me to do better for myself. But for me, I believe I'm my own artist, I'm my own brand. So if other than my parents and my family, I motivate myself. I think that's the best way to do it. You see, guys, be your own artist. <laughs> Be your own brand. That's the only way you can Just go like that with the motivation, That's and I'm sure you succeed. So, um, Kalika, how has it been so far? I feel there's nothing easy. I, I, I won't stop repeating this because yeah. the young people have to know that nothing comes easy. Everything comes with hard work. You have to show yourself that or tell yourself that you can do it. If you, if you just doubt yourself for a bit, you cannot do what you wish to do or what you want to do. So for me, it's uh, self-motivation and just telling myself that if I slack or if I follow up, I go with the mentality of okay, this thing is hard. Nothing will come out of it because every time I go into a paper or I go into a um, mood squad or an assignment, I feel the tension or the pressure to actually give up or just fulfill. But knowing that I have to do this not only for myself but also for my parents who are actually removing the money just for me to be there and struggling to find that money, I just have to persevere as well, fight and reach the actual standard that the field is right for me. You know, the reason I ask this is because a lot of young people, especially those that are venturing in different businesses, in the music industry, or just self entrepreneurship, they get lost. What I can say is talk to somebody, try to gain, gain counsel from someone who you feel can tell you something beyond what you feel. Because a person that you feel loves you will not want something. Bad for you. It's very real, very very real. Not unless otherwise. But ask somebody, let somebody hear you out, and tell them what you feel. Express yourself, and that's the the whole aspect. And that's why we're seeing a lot of mental health problems right now. Because people are trying to fight battles that sometimes you can fight alone. You need somebody else to help. You need support. You need more support. Friends, peers. Um, people that actually know what you what you are going through you get and exactly so it's all about the process it's also about you it's not only about your brand and how it's not succeeding it's also about you are you all right are you all right in your element yeah. are you feeling what you have to be feeling at that particular point that's all I can say it's all about finding yourself before you actually lose yourself in you everybody listens to music in a different way. Everybody embraces a certain type of music in a different way. There are people that will love your music and people that will hate it. There are people that will love your art and hate it. And there are also people that will want to be um, for your business and there are those that will actually want you to like, succeed and prosper. So you just have to know when to draw the line, when to say, these are people I can have in my circle who can build me. And these are people that will destroy me without me actually knowing. Always invest in yourself before you invest in other people. Trust what you have to offer before you accept what somebody else has to offer to you. That's the best way I can put it. That's very powerful. So guys, be in your element. Trust yourself, trust your work. And most importantly, put those who build you within your circle, but not forgetting God as well. So having reached the end of our session, we thank you very much for watching, and if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and share with your friends. We're just trying in this life as young people, we have to build each other. So without having much to say, it's a bye-bye from me and my team, and Kalika as well. God bless you all. Bye. Can you wipe from the stolen Frank Kula?